Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. It's me, Love Spuds, and this is using the Hearts of Iron 1956 mod, the road to 1956. One day I'll get the intro correct there. And last time out we conquered Ireland, and Japan are continuing their expansion in Eastern Asia. And the Germans have Anschluss Austria. Other than that, not much else has happened. But still 1938, so it got uh, probably a couple of years before it all goes down. So Germans are about to demand the Sudetenland, which is this little lump of area surrounding Czechoslovakia here. So let's see how demand goes. World tension is creeping up quite a bit. Japan has created the largest world tension. Let's see where we are. We have... You know, taking over, Ireland has only created 3% of world tension. <laughs> Good lord. Right. You need to get back over here, because what we want to do is invade Paris at some point. And take over France. Who's going to guarantee their independence? They've got a lot of divisions, though, so I probably should build up first before I do this. And an extra research slot. Awesome. Right, the Munich Conference. German demands for the Sudetenland region of the Czechoslovakia, where a significant number of ethnic Germans live, have come to a head. Hitler has positioned forces along the Czechoslovakian border in preparation for an attack. Talks are being held in Munich between Britain, France, Germany and Italy in the hopes of negotiating a peaceful end to the Sudeten crisis. What will the British position be? Traditional. The Czechs are on their own. And we betray them. I'm not getting involved in the war with Germany just yet, considering I only have so many divisions. Which a number of 36. So yes, we need to get on that. And talking of that, we can now change to limited conscription just now. That gives us about 400,000 manpower, so we can now recruit some divisions. Five. Can we add anything with five? No, we cannot. So let's train them in the meantime. Let's... Yeah, 20 divisions will do. And we want to move it to this army here. Should have a targetization. Whoops, a daily. Right. I'm trying to figure out how to do this again. I wanted to go directly into a certain army. But I don't know if that's possible. Oh, I don't know. I'll just put them in London and then we'll sort it out. If I could figure out what the button is. Right, there we are. Munich Agreement. There we go. Mr. Chamberlain spoke to the crowds in London. For the second time, a Prime Minister has returned from Germany, bringing peace with honour. I believe it is peace for our time. As British troops marched into Dublin. Um, right, there we go. So that's where we're at at the moment. We don't need them patrolling anymore, really. So you might as well just go home. Well, that was, uh, that was an eventful couple of minutes, I suppose. What do we want to do next? Is Norway pretty uh, powerful? Well, I wouldn't think they're powerful, but let's see how many divisions they've got. Hmm. Maybe I should have them as the next target. But ideally, I want to go after France, really, before the Germans go for it. Hmm. You might as well start exercising again. The Chinese Soviet Republic has been annexed. Okay, so Japan and China look like they're going to eat up the whole area there. Are they at war with them as well? Yes, they are. You should look worried. Um, 
Okay. Have Japan joined the Axis? No, they haven't made their own faction yet. Italy have not joined yet. What are the Italians doing? Turning fascist, that's good. I wonder... They're going off the... Well, the Germans are going after the molotov ribbentrop Pact. At the moment... I'm going to get my research slot. Which is what I wanted. Oh, Royal Ordnance Factories. That's good. I wanted that as well, didn't I? Well, I'll go for this first, and then I'll go for the rearmament. Rearmament thing. Um, what's next? Steel production. We can produce our own steel, but we've got a lot of steel anyway. So it's not really an issue at the moment. Let's go for something else. Oh, wait a minute. What if what if I experiment with paratroopers? Pax Americana, so any government on the American continent may appeal to the United States for military protection should they feel threatened by their neighbours. Right, okay. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Ah. Right, okay. They don't want another Gallipoli. Which is fair enough. They choose now to seek greater independence? Yeah, great, yeah. Thanks, Australia. Ten divisions, they're not, they're not exactly going to get... They've still got the Great Depression affecting them. Okay. Alright, sure. Sure. Whatever. So that's the pact done. It won't be long before they go after Poland, will it? First Vienna award. We'll see how that goes. The Czechs decided not to have war, so that's their um, country eaten up a bit more. Hawker Hurricane, yep, yeah, I know. France bans communism. Well, <laughs> well, prepare for war at some point then. Because I'm not helping you. How are we going to do this anyway? 61 to 85 divisions. Oh, here we go. Um, that's all that done. Could go after a Sten. It's only, only 165 days. It's not that far ahead of time, really. So we might as well go for it now. Got that extra research slot anyway. 1939. Ooh, yes. 90 days for another, for a better one of those. Oh, that would be handy. Um, what do I want to go on here? Ooh, army focus is always good for me. Recovery rate, division attrition, reinforce rate. So we go usually go down the means and the army focus. I don't really tend to do much on this side. That'd be fine. Do an army focus, that'll help our organisation and... Well, just our organisation, really, so that's good. And it's only 74 days, so I can't complain about that. Seems like most of the Commonwealth has gone down that route anyway. Sniper team's done. Okay. That's fine by me. Excavation. Ooh, efficiency cap, that's always good. But I would like to get down this route as well. Help our attack and defence for our armies, especially if we're going to be waging war soon. What can we do with this? Um... Law enforcement, legal states of women, justification for war, justify war goal time. How long would it take to justify on France? 
175 days. Okay. But we're not going to do it just yet. We want to... Get more people, really. For our army. But it's a longer training time. Ah, screw it. One million. We can add more units to this as well. Oh, we can't yet. Okay. We have to wait. But we're researching power troopers as well, so if we're doing power troopers, we need to construct transport planes. Ah, that's a point. Air power. How does it stack up? Well, we've got pretty good air power, so... It's not too bad. Signal company, yep. Yeah. Okay. Engineers and recon are really quite handy. So we want to build some transport planes if we can, which are there. Move them up a bit. On the priority list. Still want a lot still want a lot of fighters and things though. Claims on Yugoslavian territory, okay. Ordnance factories done. Infantry equipment production costs. Well we will do that after we've done the rearmament thing. Right. So let's just reduce the number of bombers for a second so we get that started. Two a year, so let's just there we go. Right. So eight a year, so we don't actually need that many transport planes for our power troopers, but um, power drop power drops are very dangerous. Need to plan some sort of invasion. Talking of naval invasion, we'll need to research technology. Which one's going to be done? The army focus thing. Okay, so we'll need to go down the tree on the naval branch and go for that one, but that's still still um, not ideal though. 313 days. Because it's a year ahead of time. So we can't really do that. So we can just send 10 divisions across at a time. We'll seize a port and then see how we get on from there. Ideally we want to invade round about here. And then go straight for Paris. Army focus. Uh, attack or defence. Hmm. I am not sure what to go for here at the moment. <laughs> Let's get a uh, better artillery. That'll do. Palestine divisions. Okay, that's fine. So they're getting deployed. Right, we're going to wait for the power trooper technology to be done. It's about 33 days away now. It's another 10 experience, so I can edit my division and add field hospitals in there. That'll do. Missing equipment production. Motorized, of course. We need some of these. So let's take some off of there, add them to that one. There we go. So we got production on pretty much everything there. Let's just scale that a bit because we still have a lot of infantry equipment. There we go. So January 1939, the world is starting to come together or fall apart depending on your outlook on it. I'll say the world war's coming together. Fate of Czechoslovakia, there we go. German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia. Ostentus. Oh my god. <laughs> Ostentus. 
ostentatiously. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce it. What is wrong with me? I used to be good at the words. Right, um, to restore order to the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. This is not what we agreed. Japanese build up on Chinese border. I don't know what you're on about because they've taken over Japan, uh, China. China. Pretty much China is going to become one big massive lump soon. And that's our focus completed. Let's go for BSA company maybe. What else can we do before we... Ah, right, we need to get down this military training act. So let's get home defence started. So I forgot about this. Minus 25% to our recruitable population. Because of the First World War. Let's continue. Zog submits to Italy. That's Albania. Now become Italian. Okay. Paratroopers done. Right. Let's go for a second level of paratroopers. But in the meantime, let's build some. So we want to keep these relatively light, but they need to be able to defend themselves as well. Um, unfortunately, I need army experience for that. Don't I? That's one thing I forgot about. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Right, they're not going to be much use at the moment. But nonetheless, let's get some trained. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. You get about 20 divisions of paratroopers, and then we'll sort them out later down the line. Let's add a few more of these units. Oh, fudge. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. For now, it's nine more divisions. Things are looking okay, but we need to... Oh, there we are. Ooh, oil refineries. Um, so we no longer need the convoys. Because we've got our own supply of synthetic oil just now. And a bit of rubber as well, so that's uh, it's all good. So we've got surplus and everything, and we don't need to import anything just yet. Which is always good. So what do we need to do? We need to build military factories. That would be handy. I tell you what, let's build some in the colonies as well. Can't build anything in Australia. Can't build anything in Canada, which is annoying. Um, if I build in the colonies as well, that will have a, an effect on their autonomy. So what are they at the moment? They are a colony, and these one well, these ones are dominions, Australia and Canada. So we can't build anything. Manage subjects, so how do we get their autonomy down? We will need to give them a lend lease. So how much do we need to bring them down? 350. Development in Canada has brought it down. So if we lend lease to them... We can... Uh, get some of their autonomy down. Let's see what spare equipment we have in the next episode. So thank you again for joining me, for those one or two people who are still watching this, and I'll see you next time for another episode. See you then.